Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jane over here at Janie Sweets and in this episode I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how I made this buttercream graduation cake. So if you want to learn how to make this, keep on watching. So to begin, I am starting out with my graduation cap. So what I did is I cut out a template on um, Google and then I've cut it out in a black piece of fondant and then I let it dry completely overnight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the top part to the bottom part. That's just so that it makes it a little bit more 3D and that it looks like it's coming out of the cake. Once I've glued them together, what I'm going to do is glue on a little knob right at the center of the hat and then I'm done with that. I'm working with a 10 inch cake and this is a vanilla cake with just my regular buttercream and I've dyed it pink. If you want a tutorial on how I make this buttercream, you can definitely check out the um, video that I will leave for you guys in the description box. Um, but what I'm using is a Wilton icing tip just to make sure that I have an even amount of buttercream because the finish, the final finish will be just buttercream and I want to make sure that I have a smooth up and down cake so do your best to keep it completely flush to the cake use your bench scrapers as well as your spatula to make it um, very even and very seamless and once I'm happy with it, I'm going to pop it into the refrigerator to set for a little bit. Now for my board, I want to cover it with just some black fondant. So I've just rolled out the black fondant, covered my board in Crisco or shortening, and then I'm going to glue the um, fondant right on top of it. And then using a sharp object, either a knife, a, pair, um, a paring knife, or um, an X-Acto blade, you can just cut out all of the excess at the bottom or on the sides and then using my hot glue gun I'm going to glue on a piece of black ribbon on the side of my board. Now I just added a little bit of um, I icing at the bottom of my board and then I'm going to put my cake on it now mind you this cake is pretty frozen because it was in the refrigerator for um, like eight hours actually I think this one actually was overnight so it was completely frozen and then I'm just going to remove the plastic that I have on it and then I'm going to dowel it so that I can put my top tier on top of it so I'm using a 10 inch cake and then an 8 inch cake at the top Now once I have completely doweled my cake, I'm just going to put a piece of parchment paper on it. That's just so that the top tier does not stick to the bottom tier and come off with the icing. I do this whenever I am using a cake that is completely covered in buttercream and there's no fondant. So I'm going to add the top tier, remove my plastic, and then I can go ahead and glue on my um, little hat that I made. So just using some extra buttercream, I'm just going to glue it right onto the cake. Now I'm going to work on the borders. I have this mold that I found on uh, the internet. If I can find the exact one, I will link it for you guys below. If not, I will try to find something similar. But any mold border, any border mold will do. You just want to stuff in there some gold colored fondant. And then you want to like remove the excess with a rolling pin. And then fix the edges with your finger and then when you take it out it should come out very seamlessly now once i was done with all of my borders i'm going to um, paint it with gold luster dust so i've just diluted the luster dust in the um and some vodka and then I'm just going to paint over it with a paintbrush. Now once I was happy with how it turned out, I'm going to start placing my borders onto the cake. Now 
as you can tell, they fit perfectly um, with each other. So once I was happy with how it looked, I am going to make the little tassel that you see at the top of the um, hat. So just follow along with what I'm doing. I'm just creating just a sausage and then flattening out one side. constantly checking to make sure that it's going to hang perfectly on there now once I was happy with it I'm going to use a fondant tool um, you could also use a toothpick or a knife and then you're going to just make little tassels at the end Once you're happy with how it looks, you can start gluing it onto the um, hat. And then I'm just using gum glue for that, but you can also use water. Once it's on there, I'm going to paint it again with that same gold that I painted the, port the border with. After that was done, I'm going to start putting some roses at the top. Now you can make these roses one by one or you can also purchase them. But I have this mold, again, that is super easy to just create a whole bunch of different sizes of roses. So I'm just going to create like a whole bunch of them and then paint them again with the gold luster dust. This mold is extremely easy to use and you can make a thousand roses in little to no time. It would take forever to, um, to pipe those if you were to pipe them with royal icing or to make them with fondant one by one. So definitely the mold is a lifesaver. Once I've painted all of my flowers gold, I'm going to put a mound of buttercream on top of the cake and then I'm just going to place all of the roses one on top of each other until I kind of create sort of a bouquet on top. Um, and then I'm going to just squeeze them all over the place until I'm happy with how it looks. And once I'm done, this is how the cake turned out. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends and family. And definitely don't forget to check out my last video. You can do so by clicking on this annotation right over to your left. I am on Instagram as well as on Facebook. All of my socials are at Janie Sweets. Subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any of my future videos. That is it for this week's tutorials, guys. I love you. I'll talk to you next time.